We gotta continue, stop allowing people to police our words, to target what we say. At the end, Maya and Shama should be alive. And if we don't get back to our shared humanity, I don't think we're ever, ever going to be able to come back from this. And to my president, to our president, yes, he's still our, well, hold on. I know, I, hey, I want him to know, as a Palestinian American, is also somebody of Muslim faith, I'm not gonna forget this. And I think a lot of people are not gonna forget this. And it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a threat. It isn't. They, they think we're joking. I mean, I think the White House and everyone thinks that we're just gonna sit back and let this just continue to happen. No. The fact of the matter is, our lives are not safe with you or the Forever Peach President. When are we going to feel safe? When are we going to stop funding continued, literally, oppression of indigenous communities? When are we going to say enough? It makes me so angry to have to say it, but I'm telling you, I'm talking to people that literally are like me. They literally, literally believed in this party that was supposed to be inclusive of all of our opinions and our and our views and our political stance and, and all of these things. But what is got, starting to get really, really, really clear and very loud is that somehow many of us in this room, because of our political opinions, because maybe our faith is a certain faith, maybe because our ethnicity is a certain ethnicity, that somehow we're subhuman. That somehow we're not as equal, to again, of a human to be able to live and really survive and be able to thrive in our country and in the world. It's like it doesn't even matter. And that's what's been really painful.